So, I mean, I think, you know, you know I think it's unlikely we, you know, we see him, you know, play again this year given, um, given you know, the knee and, and, and the time it'll take him to get back. And then also, like, you know, look, you look at our outfield depth right now, and you know, we want to kind of you know, reallocate at bats in, in other places. You know, he's been, you know, he's such a great pro with us and, and a leader, and we, we want to have him around the team this year, but, you know, we're not going to have him with the, with the team next year. Like, we've already talked to him about that, you know, that, you know, He's gonna, you know, we want to give him the full off season to be able to go out and, you know, find an opportunity. And I think for us, you know, given where we are as a group, as a group, and you know where we're gonna likely be in the corner outfield next year with say and Ian, um, you know, I think we'll, we'll probably, you know, we're gonna move in a different direction. All right, let's go back on the beat to Wrigley. We go our Cubs insider Tim Stebbins joins us. Tim, you were just there for Jed Hoyer. Sounds like we have seen the final appearance in a Cubs uniform on the field for Jason Hayward. Uh, surprising to you? Uh, no, but maybe the timing of it that we got it today was surprising. You know, this information came out because uh, really of a, a health update with Hayward, who, as we know, has been on the injured list for a while. And, you know, Jed said he's not bouncing back, and then eventually it got around to. Uh, he'll be around the team the rest of the year, but he's very unlikely to play. And then it went to from there. Uh, after this season, we are going to part ways. So it, I, I was surprised at how quickly that reacted. But as far as him and his tenure ending here, I don't think I am surprised just because, you know, we've talked about a cap on our podcast and NBC, you know, he, a seventh of his final eighth year of the deal where this team is at. Like, I don't think it was surprising in that regard. Yeah, I don't know how much interest they'll be out there. I'm sure he'll get an invite to a spring training. The Cubs on the hook for another $26, $27 million. It is what it is. What else did Jed have to say about the state of this team? I'm sure Wilson Contreras' name had to come up. Yeah, uh, well, and I'll give you another health update. Kyle Hendricks, he underwent an MRI today, and that's going to determine what's next for him the rest of the way. Uh, if, you know, they, didn't get the res they haven't got those results back quite yet, but as we know, he's been out with that shoulder issue for a while, and with a pitcher, it's going to take you a month to build up. So realistically, as the calendar gets deeper into August, you might run out of time in that regard. I think Jed, you know, as he said, they want to see Kyle back out there this year, but the most important thing is getting him healthy. So... Based on the calendar, man, as we get deeper in August, if Hendricks still hasn't started his, his throwing program, and obviously depending on this MRI result, we might not see him the rest of this year, but that's obviously he'll be back next year, and that's what's most important in that regard right now. You know, I won't say that this was a team that was going to make some kind of miraculous run here in this 2022 season, but think about Miley and Smiley and Stroman COVID and Stroman Shoulder and Hendricks. I mean, they did have some starting pitching hiccups this year. Yeah, I mean, I think what we've seen since the All-Star break is kind of what they envisioned, where you get good starting pitching and you're in games. And, you know, Drew Smiley the other day, he had his best start with the Cubs. You know, Adrian Sampson had a quality start uh, Sunday. And, you know, he wasn't someone that was projected to be in that starting five at opening day, but really one bad inning, and he still had a quality start. Marcus Stroman has been really good since coming off the injured list. So this is obviously what they envisioned. They saw it. We put together good pitching get good defense behind it, we can compete. And they've been in a lot of games this year. Obviously, uh, they haven't got over the hump, and I think it comes back to what we've seen. It's just pitching, man. Pitching, pitching, pitching. And as we know, they've really started to load up on pitching in that pipeline, and they hope a lot of it's coming. Jed talked about the volume that they have, and that was an issue in the last contention cycle, not having any homegrown pitching. Tim, appreciate all the knowledge, man. Have a great night.